Hey guys, welcome to game four. Masuchi on the edge of taking the first set. Honestly, through just lucky build order advantages thus far. Upper right-hand corner, Masuchi starting as the blue Zerg, bottom left-hand corner. We have Rancor starting as the red Zerg. This is on Fighting Spirit. Let me actually check the colors really fast. I'm going to leave them at this. I like these colors better. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Rancor as the marine... I don't want to call it marine. The Zergling green? The Zergling green... Zerg, upper right corner, Masuchi is the brown Zerg. It's hard for me to call the mid games as to when these guys are gonna pull the trigger. Masuchi slow playing that one perfectly. Just moving up to the point where he knew he's like, I, I got an economic advantage, I've got a defensive advantage, so let me just continue to build the Mutalisk Force. Rancor might have been able to sneak a hatchery earlier with the positioning control to try to sneak back in, get a third gas, get the additional larva production. But it is so challenging to do that and get away with it. Maybe if he had picked off some Zerglings along the corner, maybe if he had taken that at a rare expansion. Thing is, is taking it at a rare expansion as well, that means you, if you're gonna reinforce rapidly, yeah. So much of Zerg across all matchups is about instinct. Which is part of the reason, I don't know, I played more Zerg than other races. Looks like we were, by the way, seeing another overpool. Looks like for both players, I think there was a drone difference as far as when that was set. So mirror build orders thus far from both guys. We'll have to see the variation and play from here. Looks like we are seeing Masuchi grab his gas. And it looks like it is going to be hatchery before gas for Rancor, which is going to give... so. Potentially a tech advantage, potentially a zergling speed advantage for Masuchi. However, an economic advantage for Rancor moving into the game, which means that Masuchi is going to have to be the aggressor. Either way, gas being taken now. I want to say that's like a 10, 15 second difference, which would be the difference in the time of tech. But I hope it's not a sweep right off the bat. This looks like it is going to be more indicative of just raw skill. Four Zerglings being produced, six Zerglings being produced. They follow up hatchery for Masuchi that'll be out just slightly later. Between these, between as far as the advantages to take, I feel like in a ZVZ position, it's almost more favorable to have the earlier gas in this situation, just because you get that timing with the Zergling speed. Zerglings with speed are just so much smarter. And that kind of negates that natural expansion where you can just run around and disrupt a lot of mining time. Overlord sweeping from that bottom right-hand corner. This Overlord sweeping across as well. Zerglings spreading themselves out to go ahead and find their opponent's base. Looks like we are seeing four Zerglings being produced. The advantage for... Sorry, we got eight Zerglings out for Rancor. <clears throat> Drone count even otherwise. The one advantage, of course, for Rancor is he's got Defender's Advantage. Actually producing more Zerglings. Is he going Zergling speed as well? Yeah, Zergling speed as well. Mr. Zergling gets picked off. Rancor now moving out. And I think, yeah, it looks like he's going to hold position. So Masuchi adding drones where Rancor just adding on Zerglings. Potentially move out and have an overwhelming attack force here. Creek Colony being dropped for Masuchi. Has a sense of this. So he's going to try to defend that way. He's already making his way towards Lair. He's got a significant lead on that tech. Engaging perfectly in the middle of the map, not allowing Rancor to get the micro advantage and that surround. And you can see these are faster Zerglings versus the slower. So Rancor is going to come back home. Masuchi with a single drone lead. But also that something colony to defend against any sort of ground pressure. And more Zerglings being produced by Rancor. So Masuchi reading this perfectly. The question is, is will there be enough of a defensive line? So Spire being morphed here. So Rancor is going to have to find the timing. Maybe this Overlord. Yeah, this Overlord seeing the Zergling spawn is huge. Big indicator for Masuchi either to drop a second Sutton Colony or to produce more Zerglings to try to buy time for that, for the Mutas to get into the air. Spire morphing for Rancor as well. He's four drones back. So in order to really capitalize on his superior Zergling count, he needs to move out. And I think he's trying to be tricksy here and be like, no, this is my... My Zergling army this entire time, Overlord. But instead, yeah, he's going to be able to just count the amount of drones 
at the natural expansion know he has a lead. The Zerglings being produced to filter in. So right now, everything working in Masucci's favor once again. Supply count even. Masucci up a drone. But as far as Minerals Bank to be able to convert that into Mutalisk, Masucci with a significant lead. The Zerglings actually... F so Masucci getting aggressive. Spreading out. This might be a mistake. Although if he catches this army off guard and out of position... Might be an advantage. Yeah, the Zerglings re-engaging. This is a scattering of an attack. I think Masucci might get the better of it. A drone out on the line. Battle drone. One Zergling going to try to sneak through. A large amount of Zerglings grouping and following. And Rancor having some trouble. So both Zergling groups going back. Some additional disrupted mining. And a drone picked off from Masucci. So big wins early. He's already got his Mutalists in production. Certainly might be able to pick off this Overlord at close position. And right now, a slight supply lead for Masucci overall. But briefly, the drone count has evened. Mutalisks floating across, looking for the Overlord, not finding it, returning back to home base. Second gas being grabbed at six Mutalisks in the air versus what looks like three and Two pair of Scourge, otherwise, working on the Overlord on this side of the map. This is a huge victory for Rancor, being able to pick off this Overlord and not have the counterattack. It's 100 resources and a Larva down the drain. The Mutalisks across the field looking to potentially engage, maybe pick off some Zerglings. Getting a big shot as one Mutalisk is going to get picked off for free. Also joining, that's going to be seven. Scourge pressing back into this, almost able to pick off a Mutalisk. One of them getting picked off, but that's at least going to allow Rancor to get back into defensive position. Supply count's very close. One drone lead for Masucci. A little bit of a ground advantage for something Col with that Sutton Colony. But both players sitting back. Neither player going for... It's just a race to get more Mulesks up in the air currently. And also to find Overlords. It looks like an Overlord was... A this Overlord is able to escape... And Masucci just checking that 12 o'clock location and that 3 o'clock location. One to scout Mutalisks and coming across those areas, but also potentially to scout out getting a, an additional location. Looks like the timing is going to be dead even as far as the armor upgrade. But right now, as far as just raw Mutalisks count, looks like we got 10 Mutalisks here. Single Zergling getting picked off in the corner. Still just eight Mutalisks on the ground. This Zergling able to get all the way to the main. I almost wonder how these guys, like at this level, how these guys are, if they're able to just be like, okay, I know I've got, I'm dealing with 15 drones here with like a quick look sort of thing. Summon their inner ape. Your apes are able to do that very rapidly. Once again, Masuchi has managed to sneak a handful of drones to get that economic lead. Full grouping of Mutalisks right there. That Overlord still not picked off. This Zergling at both locations potentially going to get picked off. A Zergling on Zergling fight. Two health. Looks like Masuchi got the better end of both of those engagements. Another Zergling fielding out to maybe try to even that out. But right now, Rancor taking the drone lead. I think he's still behind in the overall Mutalisks out in the air. So the question is, is who's going to make the move first? These Mutalisks diving in might be able to get two Zerglings for free. It's kind of these small victories. Like, every little bit counts. That Zergling able to hide. This is additional Zerglings that potentially can deny that 12 o'clock and that 3 o'clock. Let's see if the Mutalus doesn't look like they're going to move out. You can, I just love these forays. Like, one Zergling comes up, ends up engaging another Zergling. It's whoever gets the first shot. This time, Masuchi winning that exchange. Rancor up two drones in the midst of this. Creating more Zerglings is potentially going to go for an attack. He's got a lot of Scourge. If he can land the Scourge, that could equalize the Mutalist count. I'm wondering if he's going to try to time it with level 1 weapons to go ahead and engage. Another Zergling looks like it snuck to that upper right-hand corner. So the Zerglings started to move across the map, both to scout, but potentially try to keep eyes. This Zergling filtering its way out on the map. Rancor holding the economic lead still, I think, is behind in the Mutalist count, just kind of eyeballing it. 
So it'll come down to landing Scourge. This might be a bad situation for Mizuchi revealing the Mutalisk location. It actually is a split Mutalisk force. So he's way up on the Mutalisk count. Let's see if these guys get engaged. Yeah, going to be cut off. Scourge landing there. One taken off and engaging to try to split that advantage. These Scourge are, look like they're going to be able to land. I still don't think it's enough. We'll have to see. I think Rancor was hoping that he had an advantage. But instead, yeah, just getting his, yeah, GG, his Mutalisk attack force obliterated. I think he was hoping that he was going to be able to catch level 1 weapons before Masuchi hit level 1 weapons. But Masuchi had managed to sneak just way more Mutalisks right there. I'm going to call it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.